Hey, we're not even talking about it, Stephen Anderson, much yet. I, I, we're, still, we're talking about the good guys. My people are destroyed for the presence of error. For lack of knowledge is what it says. You dingbats out there have caused him to be on the scene. Linda, forget about it. Now that my introduction is over, well, let me give you the three main points. Men, three points. No poems, just three quick, quick points here. First point is number one, a scriptural analysis of the Stevies, a scriptural analysis of Stephen Anderson's cult. Number one, in Romans 11:25, Paul labeled anyone who would be so audacious as to be willingly ignorant of Israel's partial and temporary spiritual blindness as being wise in their own conceits. Blindness in part, that's partial blindness. Some Jews get saved, there was total blindness, Nobody, no Jews would be saved, is in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become it. It's also temporary blindness. It's partial and temporary. And Paul said anybody that would be ignorant of that is wise in their own conceits. That's the best Bible phrase you can get to label those cockroaches out in Tempe, Arizona and all their satellite joke churches around America. Number two, they are spiritually anemic, rendering them easy prey for, St for Stephen Anderson. The reason they became Stevies was because as prospects, they were anemic. They were anemic, just like the Anderson, Anderson crowd that's why they're following him and all the fundamental the fundamentalists that can't refute them they're anemic as well what is it what does it mean to be anemic my wife's a nurse over here you got two ba major things the bible talks about the milk of the word and the meat of the word you ever see people that get saved but they absolutely never get grounded in any kind of church for whatever reason and they really preach in my right brother gift they never even learn the most basic milk of the word do you know what those birds are you want to learn something deep tonight they're spiritual retards. And I'm not saying that in a negative way. They're retarded. My wife's a nurse. She told me when a baby doesn't get milk, guess what happens to them? Their brain gets damaged. They're still alive. They're just retarded. You can have some hope for some of your folks you've tried to lead to the Lord, maybe relatives that never got grounded, and they, they, they could still be saved. They just, they're retarded spiritually. But then you're supposed to move on from milk to meat eventually. A lot of these fundamental Christians got the milk of the word, but they never got close to getting any meat. And meat is for protein. That's where your muscles come from. That's where your strength comes from. And if you don't get that, brother, you're going down when those clowns come to your door. That's why Paul wrote in Ephesians 4.14, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro and carried about with every kind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in wait to deceive. 